Hello again, everyone. Uh, last time we talked about how we solve systems of differential equations working with, with linear systems of, of the first order uh, where we only have one single derivative, um, but a system. And last time we solved a, a two by two system of differential equations. I want to do another example uh, like that. The, the video, uh, the previous video was getting just a little long, so I decided to do a, a shorter one here and walk through another example. First, I want to go back just a little bit and, and talk about what form we expect these, these solutions to take. Right? We remember there's some exponentials involved, but, but I want to go through uh, that again. And it kind of uh, comes in the form of a theorem, if you will. Basically, what we have is the following here. Suppose that y prime equals ay is a first order linear system of differential equations, DEs. If we say that A is an n by n matrix with n distinct, so each unique kind of eigenvalue there, distinct eigenvalues, then the general solution to that previous system that y prime equals ay is the following. We have y equals c1 e to the lambda 1t u1 plus c2 e to the lambda 2t u2 plus dot 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 all the way to cn e to the lambda n t times un. Okay, where these u's are the linearly independent eigenvectors. Linearly independent eigenvectors with corresponding with corresponding or associated eigenvalues lambda 1 through lambda n okay so we're looking for a system where we can can write the system in its matrix form and find the eigenvalues eigenvectors as long as the the matrix has distinct eigenvalues, we know that the solution has this form. Okay, so we're not really going to deal with other situations. Uh, this is kind of all we have time for, just to look at distinct eigenvalue eigenvector case. So let's look at an example here. Uh, well, first, last time again, we did we did a two by two. Uh, so basically, the situations you'll be in a two by two system will just be the first two terms of that long expression we just saw. Uh, y should be c1 e to the lambda 1 t u1 plus c2 e to the lambda 2 t u2. And then in a 3 by 3 system, we're going to see something, just, just one more term, right? So I'll write that down quickly here. y should be c1 e to the lambda 1 t u1 plus that second term. And then finally, there's a third, C3e to the lambda 3t u. Okay. So that, of course, that should be a u3 there at the end. So that implies that there are three distinct eigenvalues and then corresponding eigenvectors. Okay. So you will have to know these two forms. You will have to know these for the homework. I believe I have you do a three by three system and then for the final, right? I might just give you a two by two uh, on the final exam, but you should be able to write those down kind of offhand. Okay. So now time for our second example here. I, I just want to do another two by two case. So let's find the general solution. Uh, notice I don't have any initial conditions here. I'm just looking for the general solution to this system here, y1 prime is equal to y1 plus 9y2, and y2 prime is equal to y1 plus y2. Right, so that's my system. So what I want to try to do is create that, that vector y prime uh, is equal to the matrix A times y, and I do that kind of here by underlining uh, specific pieces parts. My matrix A should be the coefficients here, 1, 9, 1, and 1. So there I have my matrix and derivative vector, y1 prime, y2 prime, and 1, 9, 1, 1. And then finally, my, my equation vector, y1 and y2. So I've color-coded those. 
There we have it. And basically what we want to do now is look at the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of that matrix A. Right. So there's just that shorthand form. That's Y prime equals A times Y. Now we find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of A. Okay, so we remember that process. What we need here is to find the determinant of A minus lambda I. So for us, that's the determinant of 1 minus lambda, 9, 1, and 1 minus lambda. Okay, so sorry, I ran out of a little, a room a little bit there. So we go through, since this is a 2 by 2, we can calculate the determinant uh, pretty quickly. Uh, what we should get is then 1 minus lambda times 1 minus lambda minus a 9 equals, and when I FOIL, I get 1 minus 2 lambda plus lambda squared minus 9, lambda squared minus 2 lambda minus 8. And I set that equal to 0 and solve. So we hope this factors, right? If it doesn't, we can use our quadratic formula. There are situations where this equation might have no real solutions, right? We just won't get into that. So if, I, if I'm asking you one of these, there should be distinct roots to that characteristic polynomial. Okay? And we factor that, and we see that we have two eigenvalues. Solve this equation equals zero. We have two eigenvalues when we factor lambda minus four, lambda minus, sorry, plus two equals zero, which means lambda one I take to be four, lambda two I take to be minus two. So the order of those does not matter. Right? You can do uh, lambda one is minus two or, or lambda lambda two is, is four. So it doesn't matter the order there. But what we need from here are then the eigenvectors for each of those eigenvalues. So first I take lambda one, is 4. And then I want to solve the system a minus 4i times u1 is 0. Right, so I set up the matrix 1 minus 4, 9, 1, and 1 minus 4, augmented with the 0 vector, and that leaves me with the following thing, right? Minus 3, 9, 1, minus 3. And I reduce this, right? I, I can do a system of equations here, and, and that's really what I have. I just have it in augmented matrix form, right? So uh, row reduce echelon form then, just in a couple steps, I noticed something very uh, nice about those two rows. One is a combination of the other, so that leaves me with this matrix when I divide the first row by a minus three, and then I take the row, second row, and subtract the first row and put that back into row two. I should get one minus three, zero, zero augmented with the zero vector. We notice that there's no pivot in column two. So that means x2 should be equal to s1. That's our free variable. And that also implies that x1 should be 3s1. Okay. So what we then write is our u1, our first eigenvector, should be 3s1 s1, which we very commonly kind of simplify to bringing the s1 out and writing then 3, 1. Right? And we remember that that vector there, 3, 1, what that'll be is that that'll, that'll be the basis for the eigenspace, basis of the eigenspace corresponding to lambda being 4. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, so that that vector there, that u1, shows up in our general solution. So all that's left to do is find u2, the eigenvector associated with lambda 2 equals minus 2. So we quickly go ahead and calculate a minus a negative 2i. So we're adding 2 along the diagonal to a, and that's why we see 3, 9, 1, 3. Augmented with the 0 vector, and we reduce again, right? So what I see very quickly here is I can reduce to 1, 3, 0, 0, augmented with the 0 vector. Okay, so I skipped a couple steps there, but it's basically the same types of operations to reduce that matrix. Again, we have a pivot column I in column 2, which means S2, or I'm sorry, X2 should be free. So my vector U2, I can write then as minus 3, 1. Okay, 
minus 3, 1. Now, we put all of this information together, right? Let's revisit what that form of this uh, solution should be. So we have y equals c1e to the lambda 1t u1 plus c2e to the lambda 2t u2. Okay, now we know what, uh, I'm sorry, lambda 1, u1, and lambda 2, and u2 are. Let's just plug those in. So there's our form. I just needed a new page. You're welcome to go back. But what we have then is y is equal to c1e to the 4t, u1 is 3, 1, plus c2e to the minus 2t, and then we have minus 3, 1. We often split these apart and write them equation by equation. y1, 3c1, e to the 4t, minus 3c2, e to the minus 2t. And then y2, we have right here. So what we have is our solution kind of written component-wise. That we can write as a vector. We can write it a couple different ways. And most commonly, this is, this is often written in component form, where we have y1 comma y2. This is how WebAssign will take your answer if, if you're uh, solving systems on the homework or on a quiz. So you'll write the first y1 first here, and since I have that down, I'll just copy it. 3c1 e to the 4t minus c2 e to the minus 2t, and then c2, I'm sorry, and then y2 c1 e to the 4t plus c2 e to the minus, that should be a minus 2t, I apologize. Let me just correct that. This should be a minus 2, minus 2. Okay, all right, that is how we solve a 2 by 2 system of differential equations. I just wanted to go through another example there that was slightly different than the previous. Um, the 3 by 3 case just extends on up. You'd have another eigenvalue and another eigenvector to find. Just takes a little longer, but the process is, is the same. Right? Remember that in this case, we didn't have initial conditions. So that's as much as I can do. I cannot determine C1 and C2 here. And that's it. All right. Thank you for watching. Good luck.